Hello guys, I have another interesting video for you today. Uh, it's about <clears throat> a Casio Frogman. Uh, I should have made this video a long time ago, but uh, for some reason I forgot. So I thought I should do it today. So the reference number for this Casio Frogman is GWF D1000. This is the latest digital frog one before the release of this year's analog model. Okay, so this is a true diver's watch conforming to ISO 6425 standard. So as you can see here, it says divers 200 meters. So this is a true diver's watch. Okay, so it's uh, shock resistant. It's got, it has a triple sensor. So triple sensors available are uh, temperature, compass, and also it has a depth meter, depth meter, which is this one, which can uh, count up to 80 meters. Okay, so uh, the band is a uh, is, uh, plastic band but it has carbon fiber inlays as you can see you see so it's very durable okay the the the, <clears throat> the buckle is uh, it's a double tongue stainless steel and it has a metal keeper with the word G-Shock it is a solar powered watch as you can see here it says tough solar so it charges from the uh, from the Sun uh, it has uh, a solar panel inside the <clears throat> the dial okay okay so uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, some dimensions uh, are um, okay okay it is <clears throat> 18 18 millimeters thick it is 50 I think it's 53 across and the lug to lug is huge so if I measure from the from the start of this uh, uh, screw to the end of this one then as you can see it's 56 yeah it's around 56 55 56 millimeters lug to lug it's huge so I wouldn't recommend this watch on smaller on smaller than 7 inch wrists my wrist is <clears throat> 7.5 so it wears very comfortably uh, also people complain about this uh, long um, long tail which when you wear it it you know it's coming like it, it, it shows a lot so people don't like it I, I will demonstrate after on my wrist
okay and the weight of it is 145 grams so it's a it's a hefty timepiece okay so uh, now we are in timekeeping mode so we have the time we have the the month and the day and this is the day of the week it's a saturday if i if i push this button then you will get the tide graph which will show you uh, <clears throat> the status of the of the tide so at this point you can see that you have a high tide okay also here you can see the the moon age so the dark the dark part is is the is the <clears throat> the part of the moon that you cannot see and the white part is the part of the moon that you are able to see so now the moon is two days old it's a new moon uh, here it says PS which is a <clears throat> it has a power saving mode and H means that the battery level is high so there are three battery levels low medium and high this time is on high okay so let's see a little bit the complications so if you want to activate the uh, the dive mode you have to press this button for more than two seconds and now you are in dive mode so you can you can start diving and it will <clears throat> the depth will change when you go uh, below uh, 1.5 meters uh, deep in the water okay and you can also see your this is the time and this is the dive time okay and when you are done you just press and hold and it will record your dive so if you press here then it will see you will see the log of your time of your dives dive times with depth but at this time is empty and then you can scroll but now there is nothing okay the next button this are uh, <clears throat> these are uh, time stamps of um, different uh, screens of the watch so you can time stamp your uh, let's say uh, high temperature or uh, or a tight graph or uh, stopwatch timer etc and you can have uh, you can have it locked in this uh, in the screen but again it's empty okay next is the stopwatch okay so here you start okay uh, this also support uh, split times so let's say this is the <clears throat> the time of the first uh, runner let's say two runners so when this runner crosses the finish line and the other one starts then you press the the split time okay and when the second runner <clears throat> crosses the finish line then you stop okay so the total time is 31 
seconds. So the time of the first runner is 49 seconds. So if you subtract the two, then you will find the time for the second runner. And then if you press again, it will reset. Okay, next is a timer. Now it's set for uh, 10 minutes, but you can, you see, zero hours, 10 minutes, but you can uh, <clears throat> count down uh, up to 24 hours. How to do this? You press and hold the top left button. Okay, so here you can set the hours. You see, one, two, three. Okay. 23 hours. So if you leave it to zero, then it will count up, down up to 24 hours. Of course, you need to uh, put zero so for the minutes in order to count down for 24 hours and then you press then you set it and then you start you see 23 hours remaining 59 minutes 52 seconds then you press stop and reset okay okay next mode is alarm there are <clears throat> five alarms okay alarm one okay if you press this button then you make it on now it's off and you can if you press and hold, you can uh, uh, set up your alarm to exact uh, hour and minute. Okay, now let's cycle through to the next alarm, alarm two. So it has four alarms. The five, the fifth alarm is a snooze alarm, and then and then this is the hourly chime, which now is on. So every time you will. Uh, here a beep beep okay okay next mode is the world time okay UTC so UTC is so this is my current time 1257 and this is the UTC time and you can cycle through if you leave it you will read the whole uh, city okay so Lisbon London okay Madrid Paris but I you cannot go back you see this is the light so you have to you have to cycle through so let me go back to UTC because I want to keep it on Greenwich time. Okay, so next mode is the temperature. Now it reads 32.4. Unfortunately, you have to remove the watch from your uh, wrist because uh, otherwise you will not get a, a correct reading because it uh, <clears throat> it takes the temperature of your body okay next is is a time graph which you can cycle through uh, and you can watch the the tide the prediction of the tide uh, at different times okay 
then if you press this button then you will get the moon age which is two days old okay and then this is the <clears throat> this is the the atomic time uh, received from uh, the atomic towers of uh, the world so it says received and it received uh, yesterday okay so that's it so uh, you see now it's one o'clock our chime very cool now the light is very nice and also you can have an auto backlight by tilting the watch in order to activate this you need to press and hold now it's ready so when you do it like this see one once more okay okay so now we are in timekeeping mode so if we press and hold this button then we can set our city time we can we can set the daylight setting saving times so that it will observe summer uh, time and uh, i keep it in auto if you want to change it you can have it off or you can have it on but i choose to keep it in auto okay next you can change the format 24 hours or 12 hours you can change the seconds the the time the hour and the minutes the year month day and also this is the key tones when you press the buttons so you can either mute it or have it with a tone and this is the light duration so you can either have it uh, three seconds or one seconds and this is power saving features and you keep it on this is for saving battery and these are the units so you can either have it in celsius or fahrenheit and this is for this is the depth you can either have it in meters or feet okay so that's it let me <clears throat> put it on my wrist I'm wearing my Sago turtle by the way made in Japan with a kanji day wheel pretty cool so let me put it on my wrist So this is on my wrist so as you, as you can see I have it on first second third fourth I have it on fifth position so I can even put it on the sixth position but you see and it's very <clears throat> it's very nice you see it sits very comfortably there is no overhang on my wrist so yeah okay I forgot to show you the <clears throat> case back okay so the watch is uh, made the case back is made out of uh, stainless steel with DLC coating it has this very nice logo of the frog 
and it says frogman it, it says sapphire crystal it's made in japan okay and you cannot open this watch the, i mean you you, ha you have to send it to uh, casio authorized service center okay thank you guys i hope you liked it let me know if you have any questions bye